we are all familiar with the term the word friendship conjures up thoughts of companionship shared interest honesty vulnerability mutuality and certainly commitment we often ask people should husbands and wives be each other's best friend today however the consensus is pretty strong and most experts agree friendship is vital key to making marriage a success let's hear it from shivani mr sadhu on what he has to say about that i was in a job interview a while back and a person asked me what three words would your best friend use to describe you i like the question but it took me a moment or two to respond if someone were to ask you what would you say just for kicks you know pretend i'm asking what three words would your best friend use to describe you go ahead i'll wait it takes a minute doesn't it for me it wasn't because i couldn't find the words it was because i couldn't decide who my best friend was eventually i said i think my husband would describe me as tall pretty and beautiful those weren't the actual words i said the actual words were more job interviewee baffled and little curious the person asked me your husband is your best friend when you thought of your three words who were you imagining as your best friend was it your spouse it's an odd thing spouses as friends or at least as best friends spouses and friends are almost in two different categories but they should not be especially we think about what friendship really is deep friendship is the foundational level of happy couples it is the root of commitment and trust most importantly it forms the basis of intimacy and satisfying sex couples with deep friendships have mutual respect and enjoyment of each other's company they are well versed in each other's likes dislikes personality quirks hopes and dreams they have an abiding regard for each other and express this fondness not just in the big ways but in little ways day in and day out when i do my couples therapy especially in the early sessions when couples have even a fundamental regard for one another there is hope for therapy so how do you foster regard how do you cultivate friendship i think it begins by developing two simple skills asking questions telling stories learn to ask questions asking is a skill and you can develop it with practice and the practice of asking can yield great rewards if you ask profound questions you get profound answers if you ask shallow questions you get shallow answers and if you ask no questions you get no answers at all learn to ask profound questions ask open ended questions that lead to deeper understanding of your partner's inner world again it takes practice it's easy to ask did you have a good day at work then so what was it like at work today it's even easier to ask are you upset then you seem upset what's going on but if your goal is intimacy and friendship you will give it a shot and you'll find it makes skill to a little easier the second skill in deepening friendship is to tell stories we all know somebody who's a great storyteller whenever i hang out with that guy i always end up feeling like i'm a bad storyteller but that's not simply true i have got great stories so do you i'm surprised how many people have never told their story you should try it it starts with like i was born in blah 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 and if you are telling it to a curious listener the opportunity for discovery is boundless your family story your first kiss story your broken leg story they all hold insights into you and how you think about relationships as a couple you should tell your story your collective story when 
New couples come in. I ask them for their whole story. It's invariably filled with ups and downs, laughter and tears. How a couple tells the story is as important as the story they tell. Friends tend to glorify the struggle, while couples whose friendship is broken focus more on the struggle itself. It's important to learn how to focus on the stories of perseverance, connection and joy. Do not underestimate the power of stories. Our brains are designed to be drawn into and motivated by stories. Stories have the power to build and transform relationships. They provide context for the rough spots and remind us that there is something bigger than the struggle. So ask questions, tell stories, indulge curiosity and discovery, create context for exploring each other's likes, dislikes, personality quirks, hopes and dreams. Focusing on your friendship and cultivating regard is the best thing you can do to your relationship as a whole. It's not terribly complicated. Maybe you start by asking, what three words would you use to describe me? Thank you, Counselor Shivani, for sharing your insights about the importance of friendship in a marriage. Hope to hear soon from you on another interesting topic. Thank you.